Gotcha. So guys, so I'm finally getting around to do this meet recap. Um, the meet went way better than I expected it to go. Um, well, first of all, I had to cut 13 pounds to make weight. 
Uh, the morning, the day before weigh-ins, I was 256 pounds in the morning. Um, the water just wasn't falling off. Um, I didn't have any bowel movements. So I had a lot of like fecal matter in my stomach still because I had pizza the day before. But it's one of those things where it's like you have to kind of figure out game plan and just attack it and hope for the best. So what happened? Yeah, I had to cut. So I had to cut like 13 pounds. Um, the night before weigh-ins, I went to sauna at Steffi's house for like three or four hours. Um, we got down to 248. Um, so I'm like, okay, we might be in good shape. Maybe you wake up in the morning, we'll drop another two or three pounds um, just overnight. Woke up the next morning, I was still 247 point something. And to make weight, you had to be 242.5, which is 110 kg. Take this gum out. But yeah, so I went, I had to go that morning at like 7 a.m. to sauna again. Um, we sounded and I was like, I was over by myself. I'm like, man, this is, this is hard. This is tough right now. Like I couldn't like, like I was lightheaded cause I haven't really eaten any food since like two o'clock the day before I haven't drunk any water. I'm exhausted. I'm like, at this point, man, I'm just trying to make weight. So I did the sauna. I did sauna spit. I had some Jolly Ranchers, so that was helping me um, salivate, I think that's the right term. I don't know, well, just spit, produce uh, saliva, so that way I can get more water out of my body. So I was doing that. Um, I cut the sauna session short that morning, because like I said, I got lightheaded, so I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna weigh in and pray for the best. Um, got the weigh-ins, I was point two kilos, two kilos over. Uh, when I weigh them, but luckily I had like I had my um, Apple Watch on, I had my necklace, I had wristbands on, I still had my underwear on when I weighed in. So I got on the scale again after taking all that stuff off, and I made weight. I'm like, man, <laughs> that was tough, but we got it done. Um, what else? Me move. So the meat itself went better than expected just off the course of like the last couple weeks of training. Um, I knew the squat was going to be there. Um, I didn't know too much about the bench, but we ended up PRing. I had like a shoulder injury, like my shoulder was just really bothering me like two weeks out. So I'm like, let me just take some days off from like bench pressing in the gym in hopes that it gets better by meat day. And we end up PRing. My, we almost been 500 pounds. Um, well, let me get back to squats. Squats, we opened up with 716 pounds. That flew. Then we jumped up to 765 pounds. Um, and that move, according to plan, um, I just made sure I stayed in my in my technique. As long as I stayed in my technique, anything is possible for me on meet day. Somewhat, kind of, you could say. Because, like... When I'm in the gym and training, I'm only listening to R&B and I'm in control. Um, my adrenaline is up, but it's not like raging through the roof or anything. So I was just kind of, I just, I coast through training, but I'm all, I'm always in control. But when I go to a meet and I see like everyone in the crowd cheering and stuff like that, it's like, I can't fail out here. I can't, like, I can't come out here and look like a bitch, basically. Like I can't, I can't, be, I, can't, I can't do that. So it's like when I go to meets, I show up and I show out. Like I'm better at meets time and than I am in uh, training, as you should be. Like you should be able to peak in meets and not training. So I did it. Um, 804 on squats move. Like I don't know, man. It's like I, I feel like I had another 10, 10 to 15 kilos, maybe. Um, that's pushing it. But I feel like I could have squatted 830, 8, 8, 830 that day. Maybe a little bit more. Um, but like I said, that, that might be pushing it. But like I said, we squatted 800 pounds. No, that's, that's, that was one of our goals. That was one of our goal. We achieved that. We got it done. Now, move on the bench. We opened up with four 
130 pounds. Um, that moved like it should. Now I believe we jumped to 474, 473 point something. I, I forget. Me and Andy, uh, he was helping me handle me that day. Um, I asked him like, hey, like, what do you think? Like, cause we, I, I told him like numbers I had in mind. It was like 490 to like 501. Um, if it depend on how that Brett moved for the second attempt. And I was like, you know what? We're just gonna go in half. We're gonna do 496 and hope for the best. I got the got on the bench today. Oh shit! Like I had 500 pounds. I'm like, man, what the fuck? I should have put 500 pounds on. Like, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We still got. We still know we have more potential. Like we still know we have more weight to put on the bar, with squat and bench and hell deadlifts as well. Um, we opened up with deadlifts like 848, and it flew like. It's like a last warm up, or second to last warm up, you know. Strength is like I said, strength is always gonna be there. It's just my fucking hands don't work. My hands don't work sometimes, and sometimes it causes me to lose technique. And as you can see on that third attempt with Delos, I just lost technique and I couldn't recover. But it moved great off the ground. Um, but yeah, then after our first attempt move, we went to nine hundred and three pounds. And that flew. So next week, we got six to seven months, I believe. Six months to get ready, which is the showdown in September. It's going to be in Kansas City. I forget the date. Um, but like I said, we got hella time to get ready. Um, by that time, I right, numbers-wise, I'm saying it now. I am saying it now. I want an 830 squat, like a 515, 520 bench. And we got to get the thousand pound pull. It has to happen. Like, it has to happen. I just got to get my thumbs to work again. Once my thumbs start working, hey, I might retire after that meet. Like, hey, that'd be like mid, mid 2300s if I hit the numbers that I'm capable of. Um, I always say this, but then it's like always kind of either underachieve on one or overachieve on one. And I always have room left in the tank, but... Sometimes it's good to like put numbers ahead and have numbers to aim for, but you don't always necessarily hit those numbers, but it's always just striving to be better. Um, and that's my goal, just to get better. Every meet, regardless of the circumstances, you can get better in some capacity. But yeah, we got, we got big things coming, moving forward. Um, what else? I don't know. Updates wise, I don't have any updates for you. This is really just sporadic. I might have to retake this after looking at this video. I'm not sure. But, but yeah, that's all the announcements I have for you guys right now. Um, got some big news coming forward. You'll hear about it maybe next week. Who knows? Maybe this week coming up. But, buddy, get some food in me. Get ready to go train. Um, we, we back at it, you know? Peace. Peace and love, baby.